fault! What do you think you're doing? This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business! Be gone! Your travel companion? You mean, the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. What business is that of yours, hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Well, what are you waiting for? If you must, suit yourself. <laughs> I've been observing you, and you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the Academia. Still, I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever! Just move aside! I'm heading in. You... Oh, go on then! Have it your way! I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in! But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand? Come on then. Mind your own business. And don't worry, he isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. Huh? You know Conria? Who are you, exactly? And how do you know I'm from Conria? <sighs> do you worship a god, traveler? Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, my name is Ida, and you are correct. I was once Conrian. Uh, oh, I, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct, and all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the Cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality! I... Who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. The curse. <laughs> it was... A little gift given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. We lost our home, our loved ones, everything. The agony of the 
cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse, robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay. Because, although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others, too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. When the Cataclysm came, we pure-blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. He is Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but... Oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. Then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but... That mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. After all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. She was. <laughs> we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. Hmm. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Curry Bear. Ah, yes, I, that reminds me. I, I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if, if you're uh, so inclined. Over here. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibar here to Sumeru. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. I do not hope to break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. <laughs> I read about it in a book. <laughs> From the Royal Library of Conria. 
it was banned. <laughs> I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the Seven to work. In my youth, I, I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do, huh? The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes, uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> yeah. As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, oh thanks to this curse of immortality! Hmm. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. <clears throat> uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. Could you really? Oh, much obliged. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Is it done? Oh, splendid! Let me see! Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the band book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> well, the moment has finally arrived. No! no! We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. <laughs> Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom! Look at me! I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he... here I stand before you. you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, 
I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. My son, Carabere. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Please, God! I beg of you. I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. <laughs> Curry Bear? We've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. Kari Bear, it's me. It's your father. Kari Bear. Kari Bear, please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. Please. Please! <laughs> oh, gods above! What more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you! I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it! But you won't even let me die! <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just deluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Uh, other reasons. What do you mean? Huh. You, uh, you really think so? Give up? No, no, n never! And y yes, you're right. I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for fifty years, a hundred, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. Hmm. Let's go. We'll make another dose. <laughs> the most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. I grow them <laughs> in that field. The details don't matter, right? 
<laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. <laughs> if you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. <laughs> I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Good. Then please head over when the time comes. Ah, oh, you're back. Corabear's uh, condition is stable. By which I mean he still isn't responding. Anyway, give me the water. I need you to stand guard here for a, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. Monsters! Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so let's get on with it. Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. Sorry, I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and never wake up again. <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now, for the final step. Back to the Statue of the Seven. We're here. Let's begin. Huh. Wait a moment. Hey! What was that? Kari Bear? Oh no! He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice! Come on! We have to catch up with him! 